Hello everyone, this is a quick video to show you how to fix a CSV that you might have had problems importing into your account. Here I've got a sample uh, CSV and I've randomized the data so that you know no information here is actually matches up with the particular individual just for privacy purposes. A quick note. So here we've got our CSV, we've got quite a bit of information and uh, we don't need all of it and uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what the problems might be. So. Here on the end, this is probably our biggest problem with this particular CSV, and maybe the problem with yours as well. Um, under this last last column here, account ID, we don't re we have any information. We have a lot of empty rows and things like that. And that's probably the issue that's causing us not to import this correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this column right here. Also, I've got quite a bit of columns with information that I'm not going to need in my account for, for these particular purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of any columns that are unnecessary, such as these here. So this sale date right here, I don't need that either. So you see now I'm left with only data that I wish to have imported into my account. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and remove this email address from the first column. And I'm going to stick this right here in the last column, paste it in there. And get rid of this empty column over here. So now once again we're left with the same information, the information that we need. And now we've got email address in the final column. And this is probably where you're going to have most, if not all, of your rows populated. So this is, it's nice to move the email address in the last column. It will actually help the CSV import properly. So now that I've got everything done, I've already saved this. And I'm over here in my account. I've pulled up the list and importing subscribers. So see now I've got certain, I've got my attributes mapped already. If you didn't have these already uh, mapped accordingly, you would want to go ahead and do that. So everything's good. And that, that should pretty much do it. I'm going to go ahead and click and import. And that should take care of any issues you have with the CSV import. Thanks.